Hi everybody, it's Tristan here from the EdTech Teacher and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video series, we're looking at Microsoft Teams, which has been an amazing resource that we've utilised as educators throughout the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. So at the moment on my screen, you can see that I am in my the EdTech Teacher example group and team on Microsoft Teams. I'm going to show you how easy it is to add files and manipulate those files so that your students or colleagues can access them when we're using Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to head up the top of my team and click on the Files tab, which is located next to Posts. This is where I'm able to add resources and files to my team for my colleagues or my students to access and use. There's a whole range of ways that I can do this, and there's a whole range of things that I can do to manipulate these for students and colleagues to use. So let's go and just add a new document to our team by clicking on the new tab. We can add a new folder, we can add a new Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, or a form for Excel. Easy peasy by clicking on new. So I might add a new Word document. So I'm going to call this example. So I'm going to create a brand new Word document that we can all access and use from the Files tab. So it's going to open it up using Word's online version through Microsoft Teams. Now we can go in and we can create a Word document right here in Microsoft Teams. I'm going to click the Close button here just to continue to show you what else you can do with the files tab in Microsoft Teams. We can also add new folders. So let's say that I have a whole range of documents that go for a particular unit that I want to keep together so that they're nice and neat. I can create a folder where students can go to or my colleagues can go to to access those resources. So I'm going to call this module one and create. You can see here but I've got a brand new folder that has been created that if I click in that, I can now upload folders and files into this particular folder for my students to add. I can easily do that by clicking up here on the Uploads tab and adding my files, or I can add another folder if I would like to. It's really easy to add and upload files just click on files and then find your particular file that you would like to upload. I'm going to choose one of my infographics here and upload that into this folder. How easy is that to upload a new file for my students to use? Now something really important to understand when you're using files is that by clicking on the general tab here, it takes us back to the files tab main page. Now, anything that is included here that we have uploaded into general is available to be edited by anybody who is part of the team. So if you want your students to be able to go in and edit and access any of those documents, you add them into the general tab here. If you would like to add something that the students can't manipulate or change, you need to make sure that you add it into the class materials. This will make those documents read only. So students will be able to download them and access them and create their own versions, but they won't be able to manipulate the content or information contained in those documents. So if you don't want your students to be able to edit a file, make sure you put it into the class materials folder so that they can't do that. The other really great thing is this is all connected to SharePoint. So if you have taught your students how to use SharePoint, they'll be able to go and access all these documents through SharePoint. They can also download anything from here, which is fantastic. It'll make it much easier for them to access resources and gather information if they know how to do that. The Files tab is a really cool function of Microsoft Teams, and it's gonna come in really handy if you wanna set up your team to be somewhere and a resource for your students to be able to access materials during our remote learning opportunities or even just normal learning opportunities that we are providing our students. So go and have a look at the Files tab in Microsoft Teams and see what it can do with your class today. I'm Tristan from the EdTech Teacher. Thank you for watching this video, looking at how you can use Microsoft Teams. 
Stay tuned for more videos about Microsoft Teams coming soon.